Let's go, Duke. Hey, the Minnesota Vikings bring back Duke Shelley. On top of that, as I'm shooting this video, the Vikings also extend Christian Derisaw. It's a great time to be a Minnesota Vikings fan, ain't it? I'm going to tell you right now, man, drop a skull in the comments, man. We getting lit, man. Listen, football's right around the corner. All right, actually, it's here. We back. We so back, baby. And then you have Quasi out here just cooking, right? Like, he cooking. The grease is on high, man. He got the stove, man. The grease popping right now. Like, listen, it's lit, man. We're making moves. Duke Shelley coming back to the Minnesota Vikings. It, it, it's a, it, I w I'm not going to say like it's some crazy power play, but it's a great strategic move. You know, they always say, if you let love go and it comes back, it's true, right? And that's what happened. We had Duke Shelley. He had a great season. One of the fan favorites. Everybody wanted Duke Shelley to stay last year. Winds up going to the Raiders. But guess what? True love. He came back to the purple where he belongs. And he was making plays, bruh. Like, that's the thing. He's a true playmaker type cornerback. Little feisty Duke Shelley, man. Like, I'm excited. Not, and he's, I believe that we're actually going to see Duke Shelley make an impact right away, too. Like, he's going to get put in Brian Flores. It's not quite Brian Flores' type of cornerback that he usually goes after. But I think the fact of the, just having the no, man, knowing the knowing the organization, being around, knowing how things operate, knowing how Quasey and Kevin O'Connell want to build a culture in Minnesota. I think he's already been a part of that and kind of knows how things should go. And that right there brings value in itself. On top of, he's a low baller, man. Like Duke Shelley can ball low key, bro. Like he had the interception against the Bears. Just think about the Bills game, how he was out there making play after play, man, on an island by himself. You feel me? Like, come on, man, Duke Shelley. This was a great pickup. And we know we had the tragic news from Kyrie Jackson, and it's unfortunate, and RIP to him. Prayers go out to his family and the other two young men that also were involved. And we knew as a Minnesota Vikings organization, we had to fill that position, especially at the cornerback, because... They already talked about it, KOC and everybody talked about the expectations for Kyrie and what he was going to bring to the table. That's something that we have to try to now make up for. And Duke Shelley is a good example, man, in that. And just heard a lot of great things about Duke Shelley when he was on the Vikings back in 2022. I mean, all the teammates just saying how the energy he brings and him just carrying himself like a professional, man. So, you know, this move right here is legit. And Christian Darasaw. Welcome back to the Minnesota Vikings as well. You ain't never go anywhere, but now you're here for the long haul, dog. So shout out to you, man. Shout out to the Minnesota Vikings. Everybody is cooking right now in that organization, and I'm loving it. There's no better time to be a Minnesota Vikings fan. We got rookies at mini camp. They're at training camp right now. The vet's about to pull up. It's going down, man. It's going to be a crazy week of my Minnesota Vikings football, and I can't wait to talk about it. Make sure y'all tap in Friday for the live because you already know it's going to start hitting a little bit different now, man. It's going to start hitting a little bit that we back, Purple Gang. We back. Shout out Duke Shelley, man. How y'all feel about the Vikings picking up Duke Shelley, bringing him back home? I'll let your boy. Yeah, smooth summer, who running? I hear them talking, but they ain't gon' do nothing. Celebration, I might have a toast with you. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling great, I'm touring. We ain't taking no losses, we winning. Undefeated, check the percentage.